Hey there, CJ Math students. Welcome to homework R.4, dividing decimals by decimals. It is a practice homework, no calculators, and it is due tomorrow. All right, so number one, just like we were doing in the notes, what we're going to do is set up the problem. In fact, we'll set it up since we got a little bit more space as a nice division problem here. So this really looks like 1.6 divided into 5.2. When we're dividing decimals by decimals, we have to take the decimal and turn it on the outside, turn it into a whole number. So I swoop once to make that 16, and then I also swoop it on the inside once. So our new problem is 16 divided into 52 point, right? So now let's go ahead and put this off to the side here. So 16 divided into 5, 2 with the decimal here and the decimal up top. We'll use our reference sheet. We'll put our finger on 16 and go across. It goes into not 5, but 52 four times. Now that turns into 48 three times. That turns into 48. Um, we have uh, 5 minus 4. We borrow here, so we can do the 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is 4. And now we're going to put a 0 because we're not done, right? 16 can't go into 4, so we drop down the 0. Okay? So 16 into 40 goes in there two times. We'll extend this quotient line out. Um, that gives us 32. And again, we need to borrow, right? The 4 becomes a 3, this becomes a 10. So we have 8 left over, and then we need another 0. We keep on doing this until we're done, right? So 16 goes into 80 five times. That is 80. And see, I have nothing left over. I'm done. So my answer is 3.25. I'd pause the video and try and do number 2. All right, number 3. Again, put the problem off to the side. 3.6 divided into 11.7. <clears throat> swoop so you can actually see okay what the actual problem is going to be it's going to be 36 into 117 with the decimal at the end right so let's do that 36 into 117 with the decimal at the end put it up top raise the roof right off the bat and I'll help you out here this is going to be a little tricky so 36 actually goes into 117 three times that's 108 right when we do our subtraction, we have to borrow from the 1 here. That becomes a 0. And that 17 minus 8 then allows us to subtract. And we get 9. So we got leftovers. So that means we extend our quotient, add a 0, bring it on down. So what is 36 into 90? It goes in there twice, uh, which is 72. And uh, again, we need to borrow. So this becomes an 8. This becomes a 10. We have 8 left over here, 1 left over there. We need another zero, so let's put it on the outside there, bring it and then bring it on down. So 36 into 180 uh, actually goes in there five times exactly, which is 180, zero left over, and so my answer is 3.25. Now, I'd also like you to take a look at these answer choices and recognize you could do some estimating, right? Five divided by um, 1.6, right, or five divided by two. There's no way it's going to be seven. There's no way it's going to be eight or 11. Do some estimation. Obvious answer has got to be 3.25. Same thing here. 11 almost 12 divided by 4. No way it's going to be 7. No way it's going to be 9. Uh, you're basically left between almost 0 and 3. It's got to be obviously B. All right. Uh, one more here on the front. So again, start off to the off outside. Set up your problem like you would. And then let's go ahead and swoop so we can visualize what it should become. All right, so I swoop once on the outside, so I swoop once on the inside. The zero goes away. Get rid of it, all right? So it becomes 4 into 51 with the decimal at the end, all right? So I'll put 4 right here, 51 with the decimal at the end, and then I'll make sure to raise the roof, all right? So uh, 4 goes into 5 one time. That's 4. We got 11 left over because we dropped down the 1. And 4 goes into 11 and 2 times. That's 8. We have 11 minus 8 is 3 left over, so we add a 0, bring it on down. 4 goes into uh, 30 uh, 7 times, because that's 28. We have 30 minus 28 is 2 left over, so that means I add another 0, bring it on down. And 4 goes into 20 5 times. Now I know I'm finally done, because I have 0 left over, right? So 12.75. That's my answer. All right. Uh, you've got the even problems. On the back, we're going to do some editing here. So I want you to get rid of problem number 9 and problem number 10. That's the benefit of watching the video. 
Um, we don't need to do those problems. All right, problem number seven says Rebecca has a piece of rope that is cut in 4.5 inches long. She wants to cut it into pieces. This thing about cutting it into pieces, that should always be an alert. That's division. That is uh, 0 0.25 inches long. How many pieces of rope will she get, right? That's your question. How many pieces of rope will she get? So your answer should be the amount of pieces of rope she gets. So we've got uh, the 4.5 divided by 0 0.25, right? So we're going to have to uh, swoop uh, on, on those numbers, right? So if we set up this problem, this is the divisor. This is the number that goes on the outside, 0 0.25. The 4.5 is the dividend. That's what we're cutting up, right? So let's swoop. We have to swoop twice on the outside to make it a whole number. So therefore, twice on the inside. And when I swoop twice, I got an empty space. So I fill it in with a 0, right? So my new problem is 25 into 450 with my decimal at my end, all right? So let's go ahead and write that in. 25 divided into 450 and raise the roof at the end, all right? So 25 does not go into four, but it goes into 45 one time. That gets you 20 left over. Drop down your zero. And then 25 goes into 200, you put your finger on your uh, multiplication chart and go across, it goes in there eight times, right? That gives you exactly 200. We got nothing left over. Um, and does 25 go into zero? Nope. You could add a zero if you want and 25 go into zero? Nope. So you could either say 18 point, 18 point zero, or just 18. So 18 pieces, right? Decimal at the end of a whole number you could get rid of. All right. Uh, you try eight on your own. Um, and then number 13, I'm going to help you out. So after its first day of life, a baby panda started growing. It grew 38.075 inches. Uh, if the average panda grows at a rate of 1.5 inches a day, for how many days did the panda grow? To the nearest tenth. So you're just going to round to the nearest tenth, right? So let's set this up. This is basically saying you've got the panda's height and you want to divide it by its rate of 1.5 inches. That's stuff you know, so you probably want to, I want to know the panda's height. I know that he grows 1.5 inches a day. You write that stuff out. What do you want to find? How many days did it take him to grow that much to the nearest tenth, right? So let's go ahead and set this up. So 1.5 divided by, remember the second number is the divisor on the outside, 38.075, right? And then we're going to swoop once, twice, cool. And now we have our actual problem. So 15 into 380, because I swooped the decimal one time, decimal 75. And basically, I would use your multiplication chart to kind of figure out this division. And remember, you're not going to get an exact answer. You're going to probably get to the hundredths place, and you're going to be like, ah, oh, I still have to divide. Just round to the nearest tenth. Okay? Provide a strong explanation. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, go ahead and call me, uh, and that's it.